Cascade County Highway District continues to make improvements along State Street in Boise. Their latest decision approving a change to how many lanes should remain on the stretch of State Street from 8th all the way to 14th. Aspen Shumpert spoke with ACHD about their decision and why the State Street area we currently know soon look a lot different. Changes are coming to one of the busiest roads in downtown Boise. You know, trying to look out to the future and it's not only um, what are what are the improvements needed today, but what are going to be needed in 20 years, 40 years and really reimagining State Street as a you know, critical component to the downtown Boise core. ACHD came up with three different concepts to consider to redesign State Street from 8th to 14th Street. All a variety of lane changes and additions for buses and bikes. The ACHD commission determined that the three lane cross section with the wide multi-use pathways were, were really the safest for all users. Taking the current four lanes, two in each direction, down to three lanes, a lane for each direction and a turn lane in the middle. The concept would take away on-street parking, shorten crosswalks and extend the width of the sidewalks. It would also create a spot for buses to stop without disrupting traffic. To do is have almost a bus pull out so the bus is able to get out of that traffic lane that travel lane vehicles continue can move as it stopped um, and then um, when everyone is back on the bus the bus is ready to go there'll be a dedicated signal um, at the intersection of 11th and state that'll allow the bus to come back into traffic before it turns green for the vehicles enhanced safety for pedestrians and reducing crashes on the stretch of state street is the goal this is more from the bicyclist and pedestrian standpoint, um, the issues and trouble that they have trying to cross uh, State Street itself. And that was one of the number one things we heard from the public in our surveys was it's very uncomfortable, it's very challenging, and we've had some, some pretty serious and fatalities on that corridor um, due to people trying to cross. ACHD says their data also shows vehicle accidents are also frequent on this part of State Street. Changes, one of the downtown organizations who calls State Street home, supports. The YMCA gets a lot of people walking into their facility or even biking on a daily basis. This particular intersection where we're, where we're at today, Aspen, 11th and State, there's been multiple accidents and one fatality in the last six months of pedestrians being struck by vehicles. So those are all community members, friends, members of the Y, and to see anybody get hurt, um, we just want to do everything possible to keep people from getting hurt and just keep them safe. The YMCA feels this change will better set up the future of State Street. Varies in, in width and in um, configuration and traffic pattern. I think that we have to progress as a community, as a society. Construction, which isn't something new for State Street, won't start until the current pavement improvements in other areas of State Street are done. And ACHD says proper detours will be planned. We found was Whitewater Park Boulevard and Main and Fairview um, are really underutilized today and they'll remain to have that capacity, they'll have that extra space. ACHD tells me they will be completing final designs over the next 18 months with hopes that work for these lane changes will start and finish sometime in 2026. Joe. Very interesting. I, I'm uh, going to be curious to find out how the community perceives this. I know that the pedestrians and the cyclists will likely like it, mm -hmm. but when you hear about losing parking in downtown Boise, I'm sure there'll be some complaints. Yeah, we do hear some complaints there, but I did hear from a few bikers and pedestrians, and there are some mixed feelings, but overall positives of making this a safer area to cross. Okay, we'll keep an eye on this project. Aspen reporting here on the News at 5.